Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Once again, by popular demand, we have Vincent Jackson joining the channel and we're going to talk about the greatest mistake that concealed carriers make. Vincent, thanks for joining once again. Thanks for having me back, Dan. So we want to talk about the concealed carrier and, and the most overlooked mistake or habit or skill that they make, what is it? The most overlooked skill is not going back for additional training. Additional training after they get their permit is so important. And that's actually how we met, is because how we met. Vincent's a police officer, he also does firearm training courses. We met because I attended one of his classes and it really was outstanding. We are just talking off camera how we need to do that again. But the average concealed carry person, which you train quite a few, don't come back for any additional training. Is that true? That's true. They don't, not only do they not come back to me, not like, I don't say that you have to come back to me, and I told them that in that class, you don't have to come back to me, but go somewhere and get more training from somebody. Right, more than just standing at a range like we are right now, still shooting at a target, something that involves more self-defense situations. Yes, professional instructions, we like to call it. Yeah, professional instruction. Now, when, when you see these people, you encourage them to come back. How many would you say out of 10 actually go acquire additional training? One, one out of 10. So 10% <laughs> of people what, go back for additional training. Whether I see them or I talk to them, they say they went somewhere else. One, so. so this is by far the most overlooked concealed carry habit there is, is not getting that additional training. One of the things I found is that people are, they, they get their permit, they are so consumed with the gun, mm -hmm. how they carry it, the holster, spare mag, and that's all good and that's all important, but that that's not even nearly important as additional training after the permit. I saw a post online actually once, and it says most people don't need a $2,000 gun. They need a $300 gun and $1,700 worth of training. Then, and that's a good point. Now, one of the benefits that you don't hear anybody talk about is that if you have to use that gun in self-defense, you can expect to get arrested. You can expect to spend the night in jail. Yes. You can expect to be in front of a jury and a judge. And the greatest amount of evidence that you knew what you were doing are certificates that, that show the additional training that you had after your CCW. Would you agree with that? 100%, Dan. See, the thing about it is people get so caught up, like you said earlier, on the gun. It's not the gun. Even if you take a class and it's a seminar class or a lecture class on the law, on how, you, how you're supposed to conduct yourself and things you're supposed to do, all that goes into a, account when your attorney is presenting that to a prosecutor or in front of a jury. That looks better for you. It looks way better because now it's, it's as if you are the expert. You have the training. You made an educated choice based on your training. And the one thing that we all fall back on is... Training. Is our training. And that's the one thing that very few people want to do. One out of 10 is like, like you said. Now, the main thing that I see, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, is that people don't want to put forth the additional money. That's true. Okay. That's true. And we all have bills to pay, and that's totally understandable, you know, that we want to put our money in, in, in where we need to. But if you're going to take the class and you're going to get the permit and you're going to carry a gun, which is an incredible responsibility. Definitely. I can't think of a better investment than into yourself so that you have the skills necessary in case you need to defend yourself or a loved one. The thing about the money factor is people look at it at, oh, it costs 200, 300, 400, 500 dollars to take a class. but. We're not saying take a class every month. If you take one structured class once a year, it's a big difference. And think of all those McDonald's dollar menu items that you buy over the course of 365 days that you could put that money to the side and take that course once a year. The people that didn't want to put the money, if they found themselves in a self-defense situation, they would pay an incredible amount of money to have the skills necessary to be successful. Definitely. All right. Definitely. So any last words for the people out there who maybe have their permit and thinking, yeah, I heard I should do this, but I haven't yet. 
What, what would you tell them? If you're waiting to get your training, don't wait any longer. Summertime's here. Go out, get the training. I agree 100%. It's overlooked and that needs to change. Hey, thanks for joining once thanks again. Back, Always thanks. a pleasure. I like, I like making videos with this guy and sharing the good information that you always have. Appreciate it. I appreciate you watching and you guys be safe.